guys welcome back to another reading of the haunted today's chapter is called Jack's nightmare near the end of April Jack and Janet Smurl packed their camper with kids and various supplies and set off to one of the campgrounds where on weekends they relaxed and enjoyed their leisure time the spring like weather had continued through April apple blossoms scenting the air grass stretching like a green ocean up the rolling foothills of the region after the ceiling light had injured shannon jack and janet began to see the true dimensions of their problem while as yet they did not believe in hauntings as such they had come to understand that some unnatural force was working within the walls of their home what it was or what motivated it remained a mystery all the smurls knew was that on this sunny weekend they wanted to escape its clutches so they headed for the camping ground chase street is in the best sense a real neighborhood the people who live there watch out for each other when a family goes out of town the other neighbors keep at least a casual eye on the empty house <clears throat> making sure that nothing happens to it the weekend the smurls left several neighbors checked on the house saw that everything appeared to be all right and then went on to their own homes just after dark on saturday night however several neighbors heard something that still frightens them a neighbor who requests that his name not be used says i've never heard anybody scream as they were dying but i imagine that the sound i heard coming from the smurls home must sound very much like that the way people must have sounded in concentration camps or something i was walking past the smurls home when i heard this very strange fluttering sound coming from the second story window like giant birds flapping their wings or something then the screaming started and it was real scary my wife went on home ahead of me she was too frightened to stay once the screaming began like i say you would have thought somebody was being axed to death or something inside that house but we knew that it was empty that the smurls were out of town this was the first time the neighborhood at large became aware of the problems the smurls were having with their house unfortunately several other neighbors would later understand all too well this was the first time oh i'm sorry three of the girls needed school clothes they were at the age when they seemed to outgrow their entire wardrobe in the space of six months Tonight on this warm May evening, Janet decided to take all four of the girls to the Insulaco shopping center near the southern edge of town. Jack, tired from the day's work and feeling that he might be coming down with the flu, said he would just stay home and probably go to bed early. He took a paperback biography of John Wayne upstairs with him and laid it down. The time was 7.14 reading proved to be the perfect sleeping potion because after only three pages the paperback fell to his chest and jack promptly went to sleep as a boy jack had often had dreams of falling from tall buildings he could still recall the sensation of being suspended in air and then crashing toward the pavement below he always awoke with a start his heart pounding hard in his chest Tonight he had the sensation of being suspended in the air, but not of falling. It was as if he were literally lying on the air, currents, comfortable and tranquil. Only gradually did Jag begin to realize that he was not in fact dreaming. There was the sound of cars going by, the, by in the street outside. There was the aroma of spring flowers through the open window. There was the feel of his clothing against his flesh. Suddenly he opened his eyes and saw that he was not dreaming at all. He was levitating, lying perfectly still two feet above his bed. His first reaction was panic. He started to move, to thrash around, trying to sit up right there in the middle of the air. It was then that the thing hurled him back onto the bed. He jumped from the bed and stood with his hands clenched into fists, shouting, Show yourself! Show yourself! But there was just 
But there was just his own hammering heart and the peculiar mocking silence. He had become a plaything for the entity loose in this house. And at this moment, he was more afraid than he ever had been in his life. All right, guys, that's it for this chapter. I will see you guys in my next video for the next chapter. And I hope you guys are enjoying this read along with me. All right, guys, see you in my next video. Bye-bye.